So today I want to talk about Ayla's question. How can I find a style and start selling my art? So some of you asked, how can I start selling my art? Some of you asked, how can I find a style? And Ayla's asking both in one. She says, I'm all over the place with my style, my choice of medium, and basically I experiment with whatever I have in my studio. I discovered watercolour in September last year and I love the medium. So long story short, I'm desperate to start earning an income and I am committed to it being from my art, Ayla. Now you might start to see a theme in the answers that I give on these videos because I often say that to get whatever it is you want, you have to stop trying quite so hard to get it. In this case, I can't imagine the pressure of needing to start making a living from art when you haven't even settled on a purpose or path for your work. That would be like deciding to make a living as a professional athlete before you've even been to the gym, in my opinion. Now, the good thing is success in art is easier than success in sport. It doesn't require the same physical prowess and exceptional talent, but it does require a commitment and it does require time. If you want to do this and if you want to build a sustainable business selling your art, it is so possible. It really is. I know lots and lots of people who do it. And a sustainable business means selling regularly at a good price. So to sell work regularly at a good price, you need a good reputation and you need work that resonates with other people. Every single artist who does well selling has both those things. So let's work backwards from that. How do you build a reputation while may also making work that other people care about? The good news is they go together. So the first thing is your work needs a clear and cohesive voice. It needs to have something people recognize as you in the same way that people can tell Ed Sheeran say on the radio when they hear one of his songs without being told who it is and your art needs something so that's the first thing but also your art needs to be about something you really care about because if you really care about it we might too if you're not a hundred percent in your own work we can feel it and we don't want to buy it now the good news is there's a fun and easy and pleasurable and rewarding way to do both of these things. And it's this, stop worrying about making a living from your art. Number one, if you need money now, find another way to make it so that you are free to be your best creative self. I know someone who drives a school bus and I know someone who worked in a supermarket for a while and I know others who teach all so they could do what they loved in the way they wanted to because they knew that was the only way to ultimately get good enough to make enough money from their art. So stop worrying, number one, about making a living and instead start exploring you. What do you love? What do you care about? What lights you up? What makes you angry? What makes you excited? What makes you feel good when you do it? What feels bad? There are so many things to learn and discover and it's okay at the beginning to be all over the place. You can't rush that stage. You have to try all the things so that you can start to find out which ones are yours. And this is what it means to find out what your work's about. It doesn't mean it's about a big lofty principle, although it might be. Your work just might be about color. It might be about shape. It might be about the way fruit looks in a bowl. It might be about the beauty of flowers. It doesn't matter what it's about as long as what it's about is coming from deeply within you and what you love. When it comes from there, we feel it and we can love it too. But when you're faking it, we can feel that and we don't love it. So this is exactly what we'll be getting into in the taster course that you signed up for. And I'm so glad you're here, Ayla, because it's all about finding those things that are just you. Those things that no one else would do the specific color combination, the specific type of marks, the subject matter, the things that are just you and no one else. And we're gonna start you on the journey to finding out exactly who you are. Now, I'm not gonna promise you that in eight days I can get everything sorted out, but I can show you how, I can give you the tools to set you off on your own exploration that will ultimately get you to where you need to be. And that's what we'll be doing. 
So I'm really excited for May 20th. In the meantime, I'll see you in the next video when I answer someone else's question. Take care. Bye.